G'day, Chris Walker here and I want to talk to you about inner wealth and being a good person. I think everybody wants to be a good person. It's uh, just sometimes we get a bit confused. We also want to create things, not destroy things. And that's a, a really important and vital part of staying um, inspired and happy in life. I think we want to be a positive role model for those we love. Um, and even those we don't love, we want to really share the work around. And I think we deserve to be wealthy, not just financially, but in all seven areas of life. Let's work out how to do all this. It starts by wanting to do the right thing by others. And I think that's a, a, a typical component that's common to most people. And, but it gets confusing. And what we're going to do here is just look at some really simple formulas for how to get how to do it well without screw-ups uh, and the without screw-ups is the important bit here so the first part is getting the balance right so let's look at that the balance I'm talking about here is the balance between the inner work and the outer work between inner wealth and outer wealth so what you need to know first up is that they are completely polar opposites. Inner wealth is about contentment. Outer wealth is about being discontent. And the other thing to know is what happens if you screw up? Well, in a way you can't because nature's going to give you a fairly solid tap on the shoulder if you do mess up the inner wealth, outer wealth formula. Let's say you get you spend too much time worrying about your inner wealth or in the reverse too much time worrying about your outer wealth and you don't do enough self awareness work. Well, there are consequences. Too much inner wealth. There are benefits. You feel great. You get lots of love, but you end up totally poor and absolutely single. If you spend too much time on outer wealth, the benefits are lots of money, friends, self-reliant, but you feel insecure, exhausted, disconnected and deluded. So nature's going to restore the balance in a human being, whether they like it or not. And that's a really important thing for you to understand, that many of the signals you get from life are telling you to rebalance either the inner wealth or the outer wealth side. So too much inner wealth, you end up with fear of life, isolation, too much outer wealth, fear of death, grandstanding, and, and the rest. So getting the balance right is really important. Hmm. The second part, it's hard to do good if you don't feel good. And there are three aspects to feeling good. The three aspects are be, do, and have. And you're going to ask me, what do I be? What do I do? And what do I have? What, how do they affect the balance? How do, I, how do they affect my feelings? Well, let's just look at that right now. Be worthy of your own self-respect. Do something you enjoy and have, most importantly, plans for the future. It's hard to do great if you don't feel great. The be part is the inner wealth part. The do part is where inner and outer merge. And the have is all about outer wealth future plans. So the results of all this be do have are you get healthy, inspired, calm, you get energy for life and you do great stuff. So the results are incredibly positive. I hope you've enjoyed this little presentation. You